All right, everyone, welcome back to the tutorial on creating a calendar planner inside of Microsoft Publisher. In our last tutorial, we laid out the full month view and we put in the previous month and the in the next month. And we put in a text box for the month and added in the year. And so in this tutorial, we are going to be filling out the weekly calendar, or at least the first one. So this is what it looks like finished. And now we're going to jump over into our unfinished file. And let's go ahead and get this set up. All right, so the first thing that you will notice is that I have not yet changed uh, the corners on these boxes here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, in the navigation, page navigation, go ahead and right click on that, go down to master page and edit master pages. Now inside of here we can grab a hold of this and do the same thing we did in the last tutorial. Just grab that little triangle and pull it out. Um, I'm not being like super precise, I'm just eyeballing it. I like it right there and I just wanted the corners rounded just a little bit so go ahead and get rid of the ones below get rid of this one we'll get rid of this one in fact we'll get rid of these as well and then with Mondays selected we're gonna hold down control and shift at the same time click and drag there's that one and that looks good right there now this time only holding down control not control and shift just control we can bring Thursdays into place there we go it should be down just a little bit there we go I'm just using the arrow key there. If you see me bumping something up or down, I'm just using the arrow up and down buttons on my keyboard. Now holding control and shift again, we can copy Fridays into place. Once again, I'm not going to be super precise here. I'm just going to let go and I'm going to use the arrow keys to kind of bump it, bump it into place. All right, that looks good right there. Now we also need to correct uh, Saturdays and Sundays. We'll get Sunday off of there with Saturday selected control shift and we'll drag it out perfect now we are on the master page keep that in mind so we need to close the master page before we do anything else and from here we're gonna go back to pages two and three and we're going to grab uh, it doesn't really matter July or September's um, numbers and I'm gonna copy them control C we're gonna jump over control V and now we can just move this into place I am holding down the shift key so that it stays at the same height as it was on the other page or in the same place as it was on the other page and now we can go ahead and zoom in. All right, there we go. Now we are working with August here. So let's jump back over to the month view. We'll copy July over to here. I guess we need to zoom back out here for a second and holding down the shift key once again I'm gonna move that right into place and we are working with August make sure cap locks is on so we know what month we are in now we need to make sure that the numbers are actually correct because I know they're not we copied that from July so we jump over here to August Wow, look at that. It's August 1st today. So we need to start out on July 30th and 31st. So go ahead and just like we did in the last tutorial, uh, let's 
let's go ahead and zoom in on that go ahead and put all of those numbers in place all right now that all the numbers are in place we need to come in here and do a quick edit because they are in a different position than what we were before so we are going to unbold the 30th and 31st come down to the 29th and 30th of August we're gonna bold those and make them black again whoops I forgot to 31st yes there we go and then the first and second of September can stay just the way that they are so now that we have our mini month view let's go ahead and zoom back out and I'm gonna take a look at our working file here real quick there it is um, so we can see that the month goes in the black box with reverse lettering and then we have what week that is uh, down below it and then of course inside of each of the little circles we have the days of the week so here's how we do that we're gonna go ahead and draw a text box over top of this Okay, there we go. We're going to center it up. Line center. We are using Arial Black. And I know it was pretty large. I don't remember exact font size. We'll start with 24. And we also need to make it white. All right. Wow. Looks like I was right on. Uh, looks like 24. Now we are going to bump this down just a little bit because it looks like it's off-centered. We're going to draw another text box right down here. Uh, this one we are going to align center, but we're going to keep it to the top. And we're going to put 1-6. we are going to bold that and make it aerial and then let's go ahead and jump that up to also 24 point we're going to need to make this box a little bit larger and actually looking at it now I think we could make this aerial black I like that better I wonder if we put a space in there yeah, I don't like what it does there. That might be okay. That fits a little bit better. There's some auto formatting going on there, and so when I backspaced on this, it just went back to a small dash. I like that a whole lot better. That looks really, really good. Now, I can see an issue here right away, and that is that it is pushing... Uh, August it is pushing it up and so let me show you what's going on there if we click on 1-6 and uh, we go to the drawing tools um, format tab this one right here under drawing tools it says text wrap we're gonna click that down and say none and we'll notice now that August has come back down so once again, there's some auto formatting that was saying, hey, there's a bounding box around this and to move anything else out of the way to try to wrap around that box. So we've just told it not to do that and it moved August back into place. I think that can maybe come down just one more. All right, that looks good. So let's go ahead and drop in the numbers on the days of the week. So we need a text box. And I'm just going to line this up at the top here. And there we go. We're going to align center that so it's right in the center. We're going to go with Arial Black. Um, I'm thinking like 12 point should be OK. Font is already white, so that's great and this is actually the 31st of July so we're gonna put in 31 and how come our text is not white uh, okay let's go in there and jump into white 31 there we go 
Um, we can maybe bump it up another font size. Let's try 14. I like 14. And we're going to make sure the number is right in the center. All right, here we go. Control Shift and just click on the number and drag it out until it's in the center. Keep on doing that for all of them on the page. Now we're going to let go of Shift. Just hold down Control and drag that one out. We'll center it up. It does not need to be exact because, once again, we can use our arrow keys. Whoops, you have to have the uh, outline selected. There we go. Control Shift and drag it down to Friday. And drag that down to Saturday. I'm still holding Control and Shift. This time I'm dragging over to Sunday. All right, so we know if I double click in there, uh, we know that this is going to be the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth. All right, we have got our very first week of August set up on our calendar planner. So now what we want to do is let's talk about some of the white space that is on this page. So the calendar that we are actually designing this from, uh, they did some really cool things. Um, they put in, of course it was for a school, <clears throat> so they put in some advertisements uh, in this blank space down here for local businesses. Uh, they put in some little quotations and, and things up here um, on this empty space here on the side. They had uh, different web addresses for different things at their school so that students would be able to see it. Now, maybe you're not creating your calendar planner for a school. Maybe it's just your personal calendar planner. So what to put in those spaces? Well, this is where you can get really creative. Uh, you know, maybe you can uh, stick a scripture verse or something in here, uh, or just a, a cool saying or something that's going to inspire you. Um, put that text inside of here. You got this big space down here. You could drop some pictures or something in there. Maybe you've got uh, kids and you want to uh, put some pictures of your kids so every time you open your calendar planner, uh, you're seeing the things that you love the most uh, right here on the page. So. Feel free to just be creative with those spaces. You could e easily use up the space if you wanted to. You could go back into the master page and you could drag these all the way out here to the line. Make sure you do leave a quarter inch um, next to here because your printer is not going to print that space right there. But you could widen these out and, and use up that space. Do the same thing over here. Widen those out. Uh, maybe make Saturday a little wider and, and Sunday um, a little bit thinner. Uh, another thing that I thought of doing, uh, depending on, on what I was designing for, is I might actually start out, because I kind of don't like starting out on Monday. Um, I know that's typically the start of our, our week, but our month always starts out with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So you could take and make Sunday small, put it here, and then have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday... Um, Saturday or or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then a small one down here for Saturday, and just have the week totally on the page and not have anything else there. If you're a minimalist, I'm a minimalist at heart. That's what I would do. I would just kind of make this a little larger. Now I'm actually uh, designing this off of um, the idea of having an academic calendar planner. So that's why I'm designing it the way that I am. But just be creative with it. And uh, that is going to be it for this tutorial because we've got this all set up. Now you can probably figure out the rest from here, but don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Next, In the next part, um, I'm going to show you a really simple way now to drop in all of the rest of the weeks for the month and um, also to lay out your other months um, much more quickly than what we've done here uh, in the last couple of tutorials. All right, thank you so much. If you loved this video, please do me a huge favor and share it with a friend. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.